Hello champions. Now that I have achieved the Guardian Druid challenge, I will do a guide that will cover the entire encounter. This will allow you to earn the new appearance of Guardian Druid. I must warn you, this challenge is not easy earned. This will require you to spend thousands of nether shard over the atoms. I will try to image as best as I can the mechanics of this fight over the video. Before you begin this challenge, I suggest you to get the 5 dogman runes, the food buff called Bear Tartar that will provide you speed after killing a target, drums for heroism in phase 2, and potions of prodding power, pre-pot before encounter, and another one at the beginning of phase 2. And last but the least, flask of the 7th demon that provide you agility. The talents I used are Brambles, Wild Charge, Balance Affinity, Mighty Bash, Galactic Guardian, Survival of the Fittest, and Pulverize. This is a very difficult challenge to achieve. It will require a lot of practice to master Phase 1 and the ability to not panic in Phase 2. At all time, keep Pulverize up on you as it reduces a huge amount of damage during this encounter. Use as often as possible frenzied regeneration. Spam trash to hit the main target priority and as much adds as you can at the same time. Use Moonfire for the highs and Infernals in between. Let's get over phase 1 adds and mechanics. The main priority add is called Inquisitor Varys. The Inquisitor Varys has an aura around himself that is very annoying. When you stand in it, you earn a debuff called Aura of Decay. It stacks relatively quickly. And when you go above 4 to 5 stacks, it starts to deal a huge amount of damage. You don't want that. It is possible to use different legendary combinations. But for me, the best combination was Echo Wraith with Pridas. Echo Wraith will improve the effects of Astral's influence, talent, by increasing the range of trash. That way you can stand in the ledge of the aura of the key and still hit the target. The idea is to keep using on cooldown trash to refresh your stacks while hitting other targets. This will speed up the process of phase 1. The next ability is Mind Rend. Mind Rend is a spell ability that will be cast on you. To counter hit, use Frenzied Regeneration to heal yourself, as well of Iron 4 to lower the damage. There is another ability called Drain Life. It will target Velen and leech his HP. You must interrupt this cast to avoid extra healing on Inquisitor Varys. The next add is called Tormenting High. This is an eye that spawns around Inquisitor Aeris and it will cast a channel ability that will knock, off, knock you off the platform if you are not facing it. You need to keep an eye on them at all costs and use Moonfire to counter them as soon as they spawn. D DBM will do the ding sound when it spawns. They die relatively quickly. Smoldering Infernal. This add will walk very slowly around the room. He is chasing you, but he has a lot more life than the highs. If you are in melee range of them, they will cast a smash, which will knock you off the platform if you're still facing them in short range. To counter them, use speed buff like Bear Tartar. It's the name of the food buff. And always stays in movement. You need to always keep Moonfire and Trash on them to kill them ASAP. That way, when they die, they get into hibernation for an amount of time which allow you to deal with other mechanics of the fight. Another type of add is called Nether Horror. The Nether Horrors are four adds that spawns from portals on the side of the room. If you let them cast, they will kill you really quickly. 
you can use the holy ward to interrupt them. Another possibility is to use incapacitating roar. The holy ward are the only useful utility that can be used during this encounter. It will spawn in a random location. Whenever you reach it, it will heal you to full health and also stuns all the enemy in the rooms for a few seconds. This is a powerful ability that needs to be used carefully. It is very good if you can go into phase 2 with 2 holy ward up. That way, you will get some rest time during difficult moments, or use it as an extra heal. Before we start explaining phase 2, we need to cover some defensive cooldowns management. Survival instincts cannot be used in phase 1, since you will need to charge up for phase 2 to counter annihilate ability. You can use bar skin to help you lower the damage in phase 1, since it's on a short cooldown. Use as often as you can frenzied regeneration to heal yourself. Iron Fuhrer should be at least rolling with 1 stacks during most of the time, to remain defensive. When you finish phase 1, it will clear all the remaining heads except the infernals. In best scenario, you want to have them very low health, so they can go hibernation. That way, you don't have to worry at the beginning of phase 2 and can focus on using your potion, heroism and going the total offensive mode. Phase 2 is a DPS race against the encounter. There is a lot of things going out, so stay focused. A lot of things can kill you in this phase like Annihilation, Nether Stomp, Infernal Smash. There will be also three purple beams that will spawn and tries to push you. Keep an eye for the Holy Ward location and try to stay close to them. During phase two, there will be a new ad called Eye Lord Cruel. This is your main priority target. The first ability it does is called Nether Stomp. That means Cruel will jump on you and leave a green puddle under you. Do not stay in it. It deals a high amount of damage. Use defensive and frenzied regeneration to recover quickly. When I say defensive, you need to use like Iron Fior. Keep it rolling with one or two stacks. That way you will mitigate most of the damage. The next ability is called Annihilate. This is the ability that you that will kill you if you don't use a powerful defensive cooldown. You need to use survival instincts. We saved it during phase 1. Now that you have 2 stacks, you will need to manage phase 2 so you can use it properly just for annihilate. You want to use survival instincts as soon as you cast annihilate. You have 2 stacks, so only use it for that ability. For the first annihilate, I suggest you to use double stacks of Iron Fuhrer with bar skin and the artifact weapon. For the second annihilate, use survival instincts as well for the third annihilate. If you get the fourth annihilate, you will have the cooldown that were used for the first annihilate. If you have useful trinkets such as Royal Dagger Haft that whenever you die Let's say you reach 1 HP, they will recover you to 20% of your HP. That way it's like you're Im immune to die. So use them, they are very useful in this fight. The last ability is the most important one. It's called Twisted Reflection. It's a cast that needs to be interrupted in top priority. You cannot let it cast, as it will heal the boss make the encounter impossible to defeat. You should cast it twice, if not three times during this phase. So keep an eye on it and interrupt it. Let's summarize phase 2. Don't lose focus. Do not panic. Keep an eye for twisted reflection and interrupt it. Then look out for the infernal smash. And try to stay as close as possible to the holy ward to pop them whenever needed. Keep spamming trash on cooldowns and try to manage your rage at best to not be at zero whenever you need rage to pop defensive. 
try to remain at 60% rage. Now for the second part of the video, you will see a footage of me doing the encounter and yeah, getting my artifact habits. I hope you enjoy it. Even a fraction of my power will be enough to destroy you. Not so fast. Ah! I can't Ferris, dispose of this rabble. With pleasure, oh. my look always to the light. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fire Fall Crew!